right, welcome guys to the channel. Good to have you, and thank you for watching, first of all. So, this is Dragon Master, of course, and just wanted to say this will be the, uh, my build of the new god Zen Chen. Um, I don't know, for those of you saying that I'm building him wrong and all this other stuff, keep in mind that I am a very avid believer that you play your fucking class. If you're going to go and build ADC and say you're going to pick how you eat, don't build a tanky how you eat. Like, that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to be a damage type person. Same thing with support. Don't build a support for mage. Like, they're all, they're, all the guardians are AP. So don't go and build a shit ton of AP if that's not what your person's supposed to do. If you want to do that and you want to be a newbie person, go play that Anubis. Otherwise, um, this is going to be how I kind of level him up. Uh, first of all, let's go over his abilities, his passive. Every time you hit someone with an ability, you gain 3 HP health regeneration per 5 seconds. Uh, you can get a max of 12, which is actually really, really good. And you will see later in the video how I end up getting 100 health per s every 5 seconds. That's 20 health per second. Not too bad. Uh, first one, uh, he shouts something from his chest, all this cool shit. Basically, it does damage upon impact, which is 70, and then damage over time, which is 2.5% per second, two and a half percent per second um, for the uh, duration of the period, which you can see goes up the longer it goes as the cooldown goes down. Super nice. Same thing with his ult. His ult starts at 100. The more it gets maxed out, the more damage it does, and the lower cooldown. Uh, but it also reduces the damage reduction uh, that is done for basic attacks on the people or players hit. Uh, so this is really good whether you're in Joust and you want to actually just do some damage. If you're going up against another Kepri or something, 2.5% of their max damage for 3.5 seconds is a shit ton of damage. Like, you can do 10% of someone's health with one ability. Like, that is really nice. Um, it also affects the minions. So if you want to have your minions win, their damage reduction is going to be 30% towards your minions. Super nice and good to help push your lane. Second one, you swing out with your axe and you do some damage, and then you come down, slam them, and root them if you hit them with the slam, doing additional, looks like, twice as much damage. Uh, super nice. And thank you, hi res. I'm going to get kicked from my own game. From my own basic game. Uh, so let's boot that up there. Uh, next is going to be the leap. Super good for either jumping in to get engaged in an enemy if they're trying to get away, or for getting out yourself. So you go in and you're how you goes, oh shit, I'm getting hurt, I got to get out. Uses his 3, jumps up, and then gets out, and then you're stuck with, like, a 3v1. Use this ability, and you will get out. Uh, the Whirlwind of Rage and Seal is his ult. Spins three times in a row, uh, does some good damage, and then throws them back in the direction you're facing. So my first one, I get F1. Super, super important, I think. Then get F2, because that is going to be good for your roots. Uh, your third one will be your jump ability, and then your fourth one, I say go back in one. Again, this is how I build him. Get your ult up, and then come on back. Uh, I like getting your F2. Do this again, and get your F1. Go F2. Then hit your ult. Always upgrade your ult as soon as you can. The cooldown on it's going to be super, super amazing. Uh, when you upgrade again, then go with your 3. Basically, I keep my 3 one below the other ones. Uh, come on up. I will go F1, F2, F4, F3... F1, F2, F4. My last three, two skill points are going to be F3, F3, F4. At this point, you're level 20. Congrats. Yeah, you have 100,000 gold, 500, 600 gold. Uh, the first thing I do is I get the shoes of movement, or the shoes of focus. Gives you a little bit of magic power, not a big deal, but the big thing is a cooldown reduction and the movement speed. Uh, you can have a tank of 6,000 health. If he's not going to be getting in the battle, he's going to be useless. Pick up the uh, Shoes of Focus. The next one that I build is going to be this cooldown and the mana. This is where some people may say, no, you're building him wrong, you're stupid. He tends to go through mana really quick. Um, so getting that little bit of extra mana is super nice. You also get some physical protection, which is super, super nice as well. As well as a 25% cooldown reduction. After buying that item... Oh, not consumable... Uh, you will see that my cooldown uh, right here is maxed out at 40. That means that you're going to end up being able to cast that ult every 48 seconds, which is ridiculously good, especially in the game. Uh, next, depends on what you build. If they have three physical and one mage, 
Um, I'm probably always going to go with these uh, next four items. Uh, if they have one mage that's like Anubis, then I'm not going to. Regardless, if I sovereign sovereignty, oh, it's super good. Right now, my health regen is 40 points. Next, if you're going up against an ADC, someone like Artemis, Medusa, <coughs> or need something like that, get this. It reflects 20% of all damage back at the attackers as magical damage. Plus, it gives you a little bit of health and a shit ton of physical protection. Next is going to be this heartward ammo. Oh, shit, didn't want to buy that. Uh, if they do have it, I think that this is really, really good. I think I'm going to end up almost getting this no matter what, even if they do, because almost no one's ever, you know, full, mat or full, like, physical. If they do, they're stupid, and you're going to de destroy them and don't get that because you'd rather have the maxed out physical protection. Besides that, though, get the Stone of Gaia 4. I really like it. At this point, you're actually going to be doing uh, some good regen. You see right now it's at 65.8. Um... Now, if they do have another um, physical person, it depends on what they are. If they're going to be building more crit damage and not really crit speed, this isn't going to be super health helpful. Go with the mystical male. If they are someone like Medusa or, you know, anyone that's really good at, or say Kali is a good example, that really does a lot of damage and has a really quick attack speed, or Guan Yu, uh, get this mid guardian male. It, slows your, it has a 30% chance, or when hit by a basic attack, there's a 30% chance to slow your enemy's movement speed and attack speed by 30%. That could help you either get help, like slow them down to get your teammates in the battle, or let you get out, or simply just kill them quicker. Uh, besides that though, most time when they do have a balanced team, I go with this bulwark, bulwark of hope. Super, super nice. I really like it. Gives you that nice little shield uh, when you get below 25%, which I'm mitigates 50% of all damage. Now you see right here, 65.8. <coughs> uh, sorry about that. I got a little cold here. So right now you'll see I have 3,400 health. Super nice with 65 every um, 5 seconds. Now isn't... You'll see here. We got this. Now you're attacking here. You see right now, I only have six stacks right now of my 12, and I'm at 83. I'm not even really going to attack, because I just want to get this up. And I'm at 11. You see, 98.8. I think the max here that they have, you can see, she's going to kill herself, this Gold Fury. I'm at 100 regen per second. She honestly can't kill me quick enough. I'm not even going to do anything. I'm literally just standing here, letting her hit me until she's gonna end up dying. This is super nice. I really like it. You get that gold fairy kill, yip de doo Now, to run on over here, I will grab some mana real quick. Let's say you're coming in to face the fire giant. And let's see if I can keep this up here. Two, one, and got it back up. So, as you can see, you're sitting here fighting. Yay, you got some good mana. You keep fighting, they're not doing anything. Every time you hit, it resets the timer. So that is super, super nice. Um, I mean, you can see here, I'm literally tanking the fire giant here, which is supposed to be like a huge damage dealer here. Like, I don't know, I think this is like the best build. You can see, he's only taken down like barely any of my health right now. I mean, how, I've been sitting here fighting him for 30 seconds. Nothing's really going on. He's only taken away 1,400 of my health here. Let's keep that refresh there. Keep that going. Like, you're basically a fucking, like, literally a god that cannot die at this To keep that, like, I mean, I'm just going to sit here and fight the entire time. You sit there, you bounce. And imagine if you actually had a full team here. I have almost taken down the Fire Giant as a support. Like, it's honestly like, you're a fucking god. And now I think I went under that 25%. You can see kind of that shield. So say you're fighting and you're like, oh my god, I'm about to die. I need to get out of here. Use your jump. In two jumps, you see I made quite a bit of damage back up on there. So, I mean, that was probably over a minute worth of literally just tanking the fire giant. And imagine that in, like, a team fight. You're gonna be ridiculously good.
Uh, one combo that I like, say like you got your turret right here, and you have someone that's just not right there, or a little bit far outside of the turret. Run in there, use your three as a really good way to engage if you have it, and throw them back towards your turret. Right after that, you're going to want to use your two to root them inside your turret. Lastly, throw your one out, do some damage, and get that damage over time. If you are able to master that, you're going to be really fucking good with this guy. So you can see, like, say you're sitting here like, oh god, he's a little bit of weight. You jump, jump, you cast your ult, you throw him back immediately after you throw. I mean, at that point, you can see, he, I'm doing sh like, quite a bit of damage right there. And by the time you get done with it, you're going to end up having your three back. Oops, see, they're running away. Oh, I missed that one. Bad example there. So you do some good time with that action, you come slamming down, I think, with your shield. Nonetheless, the animation's not too important, it's a matter of how you use it. So I'll run back here, we got that, uh, 15 seconds. Now for the actives, real quick, one thing you are a support. One thing you should do is get the ally damage buff. I really, really like this. This is super, super helpful. Again, uh, this is going to be a forcer thing. The rest is going to depend on, you know, who you're going up against, things like that. Combat Blink may be good. If they keep getting away from you and they are barely getting away, get Combat Blink to catch them. Uh, besides that, maybe if they're always getting away. They bought the, you know, these immune to slows and they're just sprinting away. Slow them back down. It's super, super nice. Um, maybe you want to reflect 40% of all the damage you take. You know, it, it's going to depend on who you need. Or if you know, you're like, okay, I just died. I really need to get in and help. Teleport to the ally god. That is going to be super, super helpful. Um, so one more time, I'll just kind of show you running on in here. Um, just kind of show you the combo there. So say they're getting away, and you really want to get catch them, or if, you know they're just hovering outside your turret. Use your jump, use your jump, cast your ult. Oh, no, and I didn't even catch him there. That is very disappointing. One bad thing about it is that they can counter by using the greater beats. That's the one really kind of bad side there cast the that so i mean it's, it's a really fun champ that's my build hopefully you guys did like it if you did go uh give it a like there we go give it a like subscribe if you did and if you do want to see any more other builds of how i build them anything like that let me know i'll be more than happy to do that um you know enjoy though guys it was a fun making this first time i made this my uh game didn't actually record it took the audio but not the actual video so this is the second time making this uh, maybe it was a little bit better maybe not but it was fun guys this is zinchin the new god the most amazing person ever so say you cast it you sit there throw it immediately cast your own and it's super nice you can catch people so uh it was good to have you guys you guys have yourself an amazing life until the next time and feel free to follow me on Twitter. It's Twitter at XDragonMasterX. And if you want to, come check out the stream sometime. We'd love to have you in there. And that's just twitch.tv slash DragonMaster. So you guys have yourself an amazing life, and I will catch you later.